Pastor Bennard. Pastor the, Bennard from Kenya. Hello. With, we, uh, that came to visit, what, what, visit uh, Pastor Moo. <laughs> hello, <laughs> Pastor. How are you? How are you? Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that moment. That? That's how I am on every right. video. When, when I'm you doing jump out of the car and it's like, yes. oh my God, I'm running. Can we, can I put this up somewhere? Sure. Put it, put you want to put it here? Yeah. Like have Maybe. it rest on your. Rest on your. Oh. oh. Sorry, ladies. And then I'm, I'm like late. And then I'm like, oh my God, they're going to think I'm trying to be a diva. I'm not. <laughs> here, let me, let me put this okay. over here for you instead. Cool. So glad you, you made it. Oh Never would have made it. Oh, there it is. I love the product with the young lady out there. Oh, okay. did you? Okay. Yeah, she has it. Okay. So if she's listening, she'll be able to. Uh-oh. Oh, you turned it. You you actually got to flip the, the camera. Oh. Flip. Oh, Nye, can you bring me that product? <laughs> the power of go. technology. Okay. Awesome. Right. We are okay. here. And uh, we are uh, here. <laughs> we are so professional lord hey. jesus father <laughs> god but we are here we have Thank an you. awesome and amazing opportunity to get some healthy hair hacks yeah. with miss tina yes. Perry. amen yeah because that's the that's i, I don't want to call it a craze i want to call it a movement yeah the, you know the healthy hair mm-hmm. the natural hair the all of that the movement of who you are and and the experience of who you are and enjoying that experience. Amen. 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 Ooh, look at that. It looks great. I feel the Holy Spirit saying this is mine. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. I I request that. In Jesus' name, no. Well, you know, it's a shampoo and a conditioner, so I can give both of you guys yours. That's all right. Give me a little (laughs) little styrofoam cup. I'll take half of it home. Okay, so you guys, we are here uh, which, with which Tina Perry. Oh, you are I want the Holy just... Spirit okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. We're excited to have you here. Um, just know that your story is powerful, and we just can't wait for, for folks to hear it Amen. about um, how this came about, how uh, the vision for Perry and Co. came about, mm-hmm. and how God gave you that revelation about Perry and Co. And well, the hair products and stuff. So awesome. we're just going to dig in and just okay. go straight in. Instead of, I'm late. Sorry. But, you know, um, God gave me, which, which camera you want me at? Oh, like right okay. now. Yeah. They're both <laughs> in the same area. Okay. So just kind of okay, look cool. here or here. Okay, cool. So pretty much uh, when God gave me the revelation for Perry and Co. Hair Loss Products was when I had started to lose my hair due to alopecia. Mm. Oh, okay. So I started with a round spot like right here, a little small circular round spot. And it got bigger and bigger and bigger until actually it took over my whole head over here. Mm. And then I thought I would need to go to the doctor. So I went to Kaiser. Which wait, I'm sorry, wait. Then you thought you would need to go to the doctor? Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just made... You know, sometimes we wait a while. Yeah. We don't always just immediately. I'm like, okay, I need to go to the doctor. Something's yeah, going on. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Because your hair can fall off of various things. But however... Oh, sorry. That's okay. So I started, I said, let me go to make me an appointment, my dermatologist. Right. And then all of a sudden, by the time I'm getting there, I'm like, I've lost this. It fell. The, mm. the back of here fell. Wow. And then it started, my day of my appointment, this started to fall. Mm. I mean, it here starts falling like this. Right. So they did like a, like a little round, uh, what do you call those little things? Yeah, I wouldn't say investigation, but they take it in, what do you call it? A biopsy. Oh, biopsy, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they did the biopsy on me. And they come to find out that I had alopecia areata and something called, they didn't tell me it was female pattern baldness, but they said it that I had miniaturized hairs. So I was leaving there thinking wow. I had baby hairs. So this ain't really baby hair. No. <laughs> y'all, think, y'all, think, y'all think this baby hair. This, yet, this ain't baby hair. No. So it was miniaturized hair. So pretty much that's female pattern baldness. Okay. Like male pattern baldness. With yeah. female pattern baldness, it starts like right here and it triangles back. Mm. Um, oh. Right. For males, sometimes it starts here in the middle and it begins to spread out. And sometimes they do just like with us triangle back as well too. That's okay. why you see the horseshoe. Right. So they told me like there was no hope for me. So um, bottom line is you get either get topicals or you get um, steroids injections in your head. You get injections. Mm. So basically I was not a candidate because I had two hair losses at once. I was not a candidate for anything. Wow. So I went to back to my regular primary doctor and I begged him for topicals. Mm-hmm. He gave it to me. He said, it's not going to work. So he said, just 
it's okay. Mm-hmm. So I tried it and it didn't work. Right. But to God be the glory, I got on my face and I started praying. I said, Lord, come on. I said, You said, and I was in my kitchen. Every time I pray, I'm in my kitchen. Oh, and I said, Lord, miracles you said, happen in the kitchen. Don't it? Remember that uh, uh, war room? Yeah, oh, what, was the, she in the kitchen or the, she was in the closet? The older the lady, she had Wasn't a closet. The, there was an older, the older lady. The, uh-huh. There was a scene of her warring in the kitchen. Oh yeah, in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah, she was from playing Sorry. bacon so I was and in prayer. The kitchen, just <laughs> praying and crying out to God. I said, God, you said a woman's hair is her glory, mm. but my glory. They said by the end of the year I would be totally bald, wow. all the way through. So I said, you said a woman's hair is her glory, but my glory is gone, mm-hmm. and I will never have my glory back. So every day I cried out that same mm. cry. You said a woman's hair is her glory. The one thing we have to learn how to do is call back the word of God. Yes, come on. He that. said his word will not lie. He says, my word will not come back void, yeah, which means yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. Right. Because I watched my grandmother live a faith like mm. life, you yes. know, consistently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew to call him the word of God, but I didn't know how interactive he was going to be with me. Mm. So every day after that, I kid you not. God give me one ingredient after the other. Mm, say in it. In the kitchen. Wow. He told me to stay in the kitchen. And so wow. it was prophetically prophesied to me a um, pri- long time prior to that that God was going to give me something in the kitchen. Wow. Yeah. And so literally the next day I was going to cook something for a funeral. And I said, mm. well, maybe it's cooking because my grandparents cook a lot. But every day I cooked that day, it burned for the funeral. I mean, I cooked this big old pan of enchiladas and stuff. It was all a mess. I said, this ain't it. You know, I know I could cook, but this wasn't it from the kitchen. But it was the hair products. And every day, God would give me something in the kitchen. Go in the refrigerator and grab this. Go in the cabinet and grab Mm, that. And then I started mixing it. And I noticed that my ball spots was coming in, that I had hair in the ball spots. Right. And then I could start braiding the hair. And that little hair that I had left, Mm -hmm. like I had a strip along here that was left. I had hair still here left. And so I started braiding it. All my ball spots started coming. I'm like, thank you, God. Wow. Because to God be the glory. I don't care what I do or where I'm at. I give God give the it glory to him. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. this and him. everything in my life. Amen. Wow. Because without God, we are nothing. Yeah. And so I started braiding my hair. And I had cornrows now. Right. Because every day, baby, I was looking like Cleo from Set It Off. <laughs> <laughs> this was not a game. Uh-uh. No, boo. So I was braiding my hair. And four months later, I had another business. It's an SLS business. I said, I'm going to meet with these people. I was like, but I don't want to wear a wig. Right. I'm tired of being in a wig. Mm. I kept saying, I'm so sick of wigs. I don't know what to do. I said, well, I think I got enough for a bun. Uh-huh. You know, put my hair back in a classy ponytail, like a little, a little knot in the back. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little notch. Right. A little notch. A little so notch in the back. A little bit. And then after that, so I took my hair down. I washed it. I said, I got hair now. Right. And I, I was like, I was pressing on my hair. But when you have curlier hair, mm-hmm. it'll fool you right. the length. Yeah. The, the, the shrinkage is real. Yeah, it's real. We need <laughs> deliverance from really. shrinkage. Like shrinkage. The shrinkage is real. Bro. I'm so. looking at my hair from two years ago, and I'm like, it just doesn't seem like it's growing. Yeah, it's it the is, same. You know. It's this. Mm-hmm. Because you need some Perry and Co. Yes, Perry and Co. Will do it. Go take the opportunity. Hey, yeah, Perry and Co. Will I've do already it. placed my order before. I said, "Can you get?" Because I'm these days, I'm like, Lord, I need deliverance from. I'm I'm about getting That's tired right. of it. Yeah, sometimes with, you know, African-American, when we get tired of our hair and it's like, yeah. what do I do with my hair? How mm. do I be able to style my hair? Mm-hmm. How do I keep my hair up? How do I keep it moisturized? Right. Like, but nevertheless, um, when I took my hair down and I started pressing out my hair, because, mm-hmm. you know, I use that old school pressing comb. Uh, that, yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah. That one on the side. <laughs> when you get to everybody right. walk away that thing on the ear and the mm-hmm. back of their neck right there. So I started pressing <laughs> out my hair and it was like, it kept going and going. I said, shut up. <laughs> and I'm right. like, after I got done pressing, I'm like, I started calling for myself. I said, Harvest, uh, come here and get the measuring stick. Mm. So I measured my hair, and it was 21 inches in four months. Wow. And wow. so I knew right then and there, I said, God, you are real. Wow. All my ball spots was gone, and I had hair. Longer hair than I ever had had. Wow. Like anybody know me know my hair had never been no 21 inches long. That's right. you know? crazy. And then, so after that, I actually, oh, y'all just wait, checking look me at, out. I know. What are you looking at her? You know, black boy be like, no. Wait, wait, wait. Like, wait. No, no weave. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to wrap my fingers through it. I was like, it's. You know what? People do that all the time. I, I, time was, like, I was looking at her. I'm like, I think I can ask this question because we're yeah, talking really about hair. I'm like, is this weird? Yeah. No, wow. no wig. 
She ain't got no weave, y'all. I know y'all been sitting up here wondering. This is her hair. Because I was wondering the whole time. I was like, Jesus, reveal it, Lord. Let me know. I didn't want to ask. Yeah, no, it looks amazing. There's a track in there somewhere, Jesus. No, no, it's gorgeous. It really is. And this is a blow dry. It's wow. A blowout. Yeah. So you could train your hair to blow out this straight. So, and I pretty much don't wear my hair a lot. I keep yeah. it up in, people always saying, why don't you wear your hair? Get out those. I wear my stockings on my head a lot. Mm-hmm. So I take, you know, the leggings uh-huh. and I just put it out, always condition my hair. One good tr- um, trick to growing your hair and making it fuller and thicker is wearing conditioner. The Perry and Co. Where, where? Come on. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> right, right here, baby. Right oh, right, right here. <laughs> that Perry and Co. will do it. It will thicken your yes, hair. Yes, Haji, that's but, her and, hair. And let me let me <laughs> let me tell you guys something. For those of you watching, ladies Thank and you. guys, this is not just a product for any particular ethnicity. One of the things that you mentioned when I was talking to you is that this is your clientele stretches across different races yeah. and different ethnicities. And God mm-hmm. has just pretty much and that's very rare because, yeah. you know, like we all have different hair textures and our hair needs are different well, and all that stuff. because the Lord had told me, he said he was going to make this product for all nationalities. Come on. Yeah. And see, when I went to my manufacturer, sometimes you have to be assertive in what God has given you mm. and do not let them budge from anything that he's told you to place yes, in this product. Say that. Right. And yeah. so um, when you do testing, I told him, I said, this product has to work for every nationality. Mm. And when you're doing uh, testing, when you do it, when you have your raw materials, it has to be like, you know, these numbers and right. Right. You have to alternate numbers. He says, Kutina, it will not work for all. He said, you choose African-American or Caucasian. Which one? We will not go in the middle. No, it cannot. <laughs> I go, yes, God said it was, so it's going to happen. Right. Mm. And so we fought a long time. Wow. And even my very first manufacturer told me, because I didn't have two, because um, you might not have the right match at the right, very right, beginning. Right, right, you know? exactly. And then you work uh, a year or so, and it's like, boom. And God mm. say, not nah, go to the next one. This right. was a this was a training, you know, place. Right. Some place to train you and then so you show you knowledge and wisdom right. when you move forward. And that man taught me. Mm. Wow. Literally, you want somebody if you're gonna do a product. And let me tell you something: it, products are not made overnight. If yeah. you get one, it's called a turnkey, and watch it. Um, a real product is developed over years. Mm. Amen. It takes a long yes. time because see, you have to figure out: does this work for this? I spend a lot of money on testing. Right. So you'll get your testing. You'll get your testers back. You get little small bottles. Right. You'll get your testers. You'll have always did twelve mm-hmm. because Jesus, He said twelve. Mm. So I know Put He's the word on it. everything that He does, right? <laughs> and so twelve testers I always had. Right. And so you test them. Test them. You want to make sure they sign waivers. Like, hey, if yeah. it didn't work, I went bald. You, you get know, a rash in the back of your neck. We <laughs> we still friends, and I ain't we, got nothing we, for we you. Cool. <laughs> but however, it worked for Caucasian but it didn't work for blacks mm-hmm. and then it worked for biracials but it didn't work for caucasians mm-hmm. so you spend a lot of money on testing right like, what do i do now and then however then god got said keep going yeah i wasn't gonna give up and he, he got frustrated he said katina it's not going to happen i said god said it will yeah. see i'm a firm believer if god said Amen. it it's gonna happen it's, if gonna, he happen. Said it's gonna do it Amen. because his words that he won't lie mm. and if i've seen him move over and over right. and over and that's what i was saying earlier to be able to experience the realness yeah. of who mm-hmm. god is so in that moment no i'm not gonna stop because right. I'm, I've experienced who God really is. And right. when he's given me something and he's telling me to continue to move forward in it, then I'm going to continue to move forward in it. And regardless to what other reports may be, hmm. I'm going to trust the Come report on. of God. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. You going to believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> No, I'm really excited. Lisa. We are we are due for a break right now. When we come back for from our break, for those who just came in, this is her <laughs> hair. <laughs> that that silky look like that 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 Asian uh, persuasion. But you know what? But you know what? This is very very. You're carrying your brand because yes. there are lots of people who do hair and their hair is not. Um, the hair is not the put expressive together. Yeah. It's, and it, and it's typically about. the excuse I've heard is I'm so busy doing every other person's hair that I don't have time for my well, own hair. Well, that is true because right. I have a hair loss clinic. 
and you do do everybody else's hair. That's where I wear my stockings a lot on right. my head. I, I wear conditioner 24-7. Like, I have two corn rolls every day most of the time, mm -hmm. and I'll put my stockings on and wear that. Mm. So you are so busy trying to help others achieve a great, great look. Right. To sometimes you do forget about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why the conditioner baby will save you. <laughs> So you can just wear this. So you just mm -hmm. wear this in no. your hair all day. So long. I wear conditioner for about a whole week when I don't do anything in my hair because I'm protecting my hair because right. you can't always, wow. you know, have your hair down all the time. Right. I don't want to. Right. So I put conditioner on my hair. You only need a little. So let me tell you something. Were well, you going to do commercial break first and then we'll talk about it? Okay. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. <laughs> no. We'll, yeah, we'll. I'm like, I'm like, can we just get it on now? No breaks. No. But okay. when we come back, there, um, I, we're gonna talk about like some of the underlying causes and the reasons why a hair is not growing or yeah. just why a hair is not healthy. Because the Lord gave you revelation about some of those underlying reasons. And yes. One of the things that you do with your clients, you mentioned, is you don't just walk with their hair physically. You also go through spiritually spiritual yeah, uh, a spiritual journey with them mm -hmm. as well. So yes. let's take the whole Because your hair is a spiritual body. Your whole body. Right. Your whole body. You hold everything. Spiritual so body. we're going to take a break on Truth FM right now. And we're going to be right back. But we're still live on video on yes. Facebook Live. So stay tuned. Yay. Yay! I'm excited. Yes. You're excited. Sorry for being late. Oh my Wait, god! Where did you say you okay, were? Okay, I went to the address that was on the bottom. I was like, oh, oh my god, I'm smashing doing yes. 90 so getting here too. Yeah. 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 yeah, So yeah. Did someone answer the door? No, it was like, uh, <laughs> shut and everything. <laughs> like, so, oh lord, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh my god, it was so much fog on the freeway. I'm smashing doing 90 to 100. Oh, I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I don't with, the, with the with the smoke the, and all that uh -huh, too. The smoke and the fog. You guys, if you have any questions for Katina, it's Katina, right? No, no Tina. 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 Why, That's where's Tina's Katina? Tina's my government come? name. Don't bring oh, that. Oh, look at him in the spirit. I don't the the no, government. The Holy Spirit dropped the government well, name. Uh, I think your your manufacturer was calling you Katina, right? You said that's could yeah. Katina. Oh, okay, because I, I know I'm spiritual and all, but I yeah, you got the Holy Spirit. <laughs> That, that on in. <laughs> Tina, y'all, you guys got questions about hair, hair loss, Bring products. Come on, in. ask her. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a living witness. Because yeah, I'll sit there the whole time. Nervous. The whole time I was thinking to myself, is that her hair or not? <laughs> Sometimes Can we'll we be honest on like, Truth um, FM? Like, yeah, some people, like, they'll add a track to it, but mm -hmm. you're deceiving people. So Right. Mm -hmm. But the fact, the reason why, and this is what I said always about a good hair weave or whatever the case may be, is that it should look natural. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why is because it looks so good that it could be a weave. Okay. And that's that's what I'm saying. Cause you and know, that's a problem. I have a problem with that. You know why? It looks so good. It has to be a weave. But how come it can't look so good? Because it's our hair. Mm. Right. And so we what I'm be saying. We should achieve with, that. Right. And then the mentality that we have, right. that's where we go. Like, she must have a weave in her yeah. head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that that's why I was just like, is that her hair or not? But I, we were, girl, we couldn't at a point. We couldn't stop. I was looking at her hair. You were looking at <laughs> her. Like, like, well, like, mm. she's saying something, but I'm this hair. Lord. Right. Like, I got to go. I mean, it. because <laughs> I do. And that's what I'm saying. Experiencing everything about God. I love the texture of my hair and I spent my whole life believing that I had to do something to make that happen mm. and really it was just me allowing myself to embrace who I was finding the right products right. that mm -hmm. help my hair be what it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know? And yeah. so, no, the weaves and the perms and all of that stuff where we believe that's what gives us the quote-unquote mm. hair that we want. Because I'm not even going to yeah. say good hair because that's just ridiculous. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Any nappy head, any 4C hair, I will curl your hair up just like it was like that baby soft. Yeah. Mm. I've had client after client who have really, really rough hair, that really kinky hair, mm -hmm. what we call bad, but it's actually good hair. Yeah. yeah. The best hair you can have. Yeah. Mm. That hair holds the bomb mm -hmm. and press. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so good morning, Miss Diane. Hey. We're on break. And so, um, yeah, what they call bad, but even that type of hair, the shampoo and conditioner will turn the texture of the hair. Mm. It turns it back to your original state hair. Right. Mm. That you came here with. That baby hair. That real baby, baby, baby hair. Yeah, baby when you hair. was a baby and you had that little bit pretty little, that, that, all that little stuff sitting up there, curling straight, whatever the case may be. Yeah. But that natural so, state. The natural state. Yeah. So I've seen it turn literally from night to day. Wow. In a matter of just a couple of washes. I'm excited. That the texture turns itself. Mm. And so I tell people, don't be discouraged. You know, you'll yeah. get your hair back. 
I love my clients that come to my hair loss clinic. They are amazing. Mm. Um, within four, we'll talk about that later, huh? No, yeah, no, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah well, we're gonna be back in like forty three, forty okay. seconds, yeah, forty two, so. forty one, <laughs> forty. <laughs> so yeah, they come and you know. They love it, and I, I thank God for what he's given me Amen. to give the opportunity to go out yeah, yeah, and be yeah, able to yeah, help yeah. his people because this mm-hmm. was not just for me. Yeah. No, but nothing was... is ever just for us, and that's what we have to get our mind wrapped around. When we he gives us something, it's for the people. Right. Amen. He's just using us as a vessel to get it there. Come on. Absolutely. Which is the reason why you guys got to stop sitting on your purpose. Ooh. Yeah. Do you know yeah. I always say that the grave, is full of witty inventions yeah, yeah, yeah. and yes. ideas. That have it's died because with this vessel. we are scared to just leap, yes. just hey, jump. Beverly, you can actually Beverly. jump. Well, hi Beverly. Where's All right, Beverly? We're back. Oh, on she's on Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, welcome back. Your experience in true living. I'm simply Ibera, and this is your girl Shell T. And we got our special oh. guest for the day, Tina Perry Tina of Perry, Perry and Co. We yes. are talking about healthy hair hacks. Look at that, All right. Yeah. Boom. Love what that. are healthy hair hacks? So before we went on the break, I talked about can you talk to us about what are some of the spiritual underlying factors that actually affect our hair growth? When you think about hair, you don't think spiritual. You think no. it's just, you know, and we buy, I mean, I, I, if you go on my, uh, cl- in my little cabinet thing, I have like lots of trials and errors products <laughs> and I, I that I go and I that buy and it didn't work and didn't I just work. leave it and you can't return it. And I feel like that's even maybe in the strategy for marketing for some of these companies, like put the junk out there. They buy it once. Uh, we make some money. That's because there's just a lot of stuff out there right. that you don't really know what's going to work for your hair. But talk to us about some of those spiritual underlying factors that contribute to our hair health. Well, a lot of the things that I deal with at my hair loss clinic, which I've never really advertised my hair loss clinic, it's just always by word of mouth. Mm. Uh, I never had felt the need to. Mm, like, right. I never heard the um, from God to advertise it. Mm. But what I do is I do 30 minutes of deep meditation. I'm really big on meditation. I love to meditate. Get up early in the morning. He mm. says, early in the morning will I seek thee. So get yeah. up early in the morning, I meditate. And then God always says, find the center of me. Stay in the center of God. Come on. When you're in the center of God, it's like when you get ready to get off kilter, he's like, ah, come right back here. Mm. And then things cannot bother you as much when you're in the center of God. Come on. The enemy can try to antagonize you and try to do things. And your response is like, okay. Right. You. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Old Tina would have cussed you out and would have whooped. We were your just tail. talking about that okay. today. We were just talking about how we feel like God is increasing our capacity to yeah. love, and all of that is all tied into intimacy with Him. You yeah. can't love like that. First Corinthians thirteen, on, unless you are in that center of God, yeah. like you said, yeah, and center. you begin to realize that you react mm-hmm. to things differently. It's mm-hmm. like this supernatural capacity to just respond in right. love to situations. So some of the things that um, I do is I listen to the Lord. Um, Come on, I've had like a prophetic See, this is gift since I, loved I was little. I was on the know, phone. I'm like. <laughs> So when God speaks to you, you just listen. Right. Mm. And a lot of times Lord says hair loss is equivalent to loss in your life. Amen. And somewhere parts in your life, wow. whether it was in childhood, whether it's teenage years, whether it was dealing with your ex-husband, you right. know, that joker. <laughs> and, you know, whether it was your mother-in-law or whether it was illness or something. But what he does is he brings that to the forefront in our 30 minutes of deep meditation. Right. And so I always so kind of like a sozo. Yeah. Okay. Well, on the uh, on yeah, not like okay. Yeah, somewhat on the line, but not on the lines. Right. But, um, so I always have them to sit in the client's chair, mm-hmm. and then I always I don't never really have heavy lights on. Like all these lights, you know, brings a lot of different um energies. Right. So we kind of lessen all that. Right. Very mm-hmm. minimal lights, and then I have deep meditation music going on, mm-hmm. and then God begins to go and He does the work. So a lot of times, you know, most most time I see like a filing cabinet that opens up and God just pulls something out. Mm-hmm. He says, work on that. And then begin wow. to express that to the person. It's always him on point. Right. And so we begin to deal with that. We've dealt with um, generational curses that yeah. popped up. We've dealt with witchcraft that popped up. Wow. And in God, he breaks it. Mm. And when he wow. breaks it, you see it. And yeah. it's like, whoa, God. Wow. You are, and sometimes I'll be like, wow, God, you bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Amen. awesome. And yes. so... And so with that, and then after the 30 minutes of meditation is up, then we actually get through that. And sometimes, well, it was a couple of times where 
the meditation went way over. But yeah. God, he will strategically say, place this person at the very end because there's things he want to do mm, in that particular amen. session because they're always one hour and no one else can be in the salon except for that person. Oh, so it's one at a time. One at a time. Wow. Because yeah. when he does right. something intimately with yeah. you, Yes. There needs yeah. not to be anybody else in the room Come on. because your deliverance does not need to be exposed to anybody else. That's so, why I'm so against when people are filming other people's deliverance. It's mm, wrong because that's intimate. I went through some stuff in my life mm -hmm. and why do I want it exposed? Mm. Right? So don't take a picture of me when I'm getting delivered, when I'm foaming at the mm. mouth and things that might be coming out of me. Don't take a photo of that. I'm so against it. Mm. Don't film someone when they're getting delivered. Yeah, it's, yeah, a deliver yeah. it's a, it's a, just intimacy with you, God, right. and the intercessor. Right, 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 right. Because whatever it is, all you are is a servant and an intercessor. Come on. Right. And then after the 30 minutes is up, then, you know, God, and I always tell my clients, you can't pray, you can't say hallelujah, because when God wants to give you something, when he wants to deliver you, because most of listen. us, African Americans, we're emotional people, and like, hallelujah, 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 I'm like, no. <laughs> because God, he wants to be able to down, give you stuff, Wipe stuff clean, and then you go from there. So yeah. I always tell people, just be in a place of receiving like this with your hands up. And then God, he pours in Jesus' name. <laughs> she already ready. Right? She <laughs> good. And then good after morning, that, Michael. we go to the, hey, Joseph. Michael. Joseph. Hey, Michael. Good morning, Chris. So then after that, we go to the bowl. And at the bowl, we spend 30 minutes in the bowl, 15 minutes with the shampoo, mm -hmm. which stops the massive shedding. Oh. Um Oh, God, I have my little... Sh I washed my hair um, earlier this morning. I was going to bring my shedding. But I just have like a itty bit of size of, you know, all my hair just mm -hmm. itty oh, bit. Right. So it stops the massive shedding. Because a lot of times when we reuse the other shampoos, it will... We have cobs. We have gobs of hair in the comb, right? Right. Yeah. How much hair do you have normally yeah, in the comb? Like, I usually... Right, handful. Yeah. And then you're not even done with the conditioner and you go back and comb right, through that. Right. It's more hair, it's right? So it bit. stops the massive shedding within your hair and you hardly have any. Mm -hmm. And all the hair that I have, I only had this itty bitty little thing of shit. I'll wow. show it to you when we get my purse. Okay. And then... We spend 30 minutes with the conditioner. Nice. And I actually do deep massage. However, the structure wow. God tells me to do in the motions, because everybody is not the same. Right. Yeah. And then I've heard God say that, you know, several times that he was going to cause rapid hair growth. I'll, when I'm driving to, wow. to my clinic, it takes me about an hour to get there. I'm always saying, God, well, what do you have for your people? Mm. And then he'll always share something with me. And today he says, I'm going to cause rapid growth. Come on. And literally. Just like we, today, like. I received like that. Oh, Shabbat. Hey! <laughs> so, um, watch me tomorrow. Right, 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 right. Watch my hair on Monday. <laughs> Because so, I would have been using this. Amen. And so that day, we saw rapid growth. Right. Where there was hardly, there was mm. no hair, and there was double, triple the hairs mm. when we raised up from the bulb. And so mm. it's only but God. Amen. Each yeah. one of my clients experienced that same throughout the entire day. Amen. And so we spent 30 minutes with the shampoo, 30 minutes with Come the conditioner, on. deep massage. However he tells me strategically to do it, then that's when I do it. There's no, like, set thing of individual to do with all. You know, one thing I love about what God is doing through you is is he's moving. And we mentioned this um, when I was talking to you in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And he's he's literally oh gosh, yeah. using his supernatural. I feel like we're in a season. Don't don't be afraid to tap into the yes, supernatural right. advantage right. you Ooh. have in the marketplace. Because yes. what you're saying now, like to the industry is like, girl, like, what are you talking about? But they wouldn't know unless you are tapped into that mm -hmm. source. Yeah. Right. And Christ is. But you, we got to not be shy. Don't be shy be about exploring the right. supernatural advantage that you have mm -hmm. in the marketplace. Like God, I mean, supernatural hair growth. Some people might be like, oh, that's just a whole bunch of balonies. No, no. what? You know, don't put God in a box. Right. You know, there is nothing else. There's nothing impossible for him. Like I, I believe it and I receive it. And I know that it's, it's by faith. It's, uh, you know, I, and, I see a lot of all that kind of movement yeah. happening in the market. And then he says, I use the foolish things to confound, confound the wise. wise. So it's not mm -hmm. supposed to make sense. Yeah. God. It's like, well, how, how, well, let me tell you about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> how many miracles did he do? Because right. he said, these things you should do and even greater. greater. So why aren't we seeing these things? Right, right, right. I got to explain to you. Like how we had to take, it's just not just the, I, I don't just believe it's the materials. I believe it's the anointing. It's yes, the anointing. Yeah. That. That. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so like, even like when I was telling you I was at Burlington's and she's one of my clients now, she comes to me mm -hmm. to get her hair done. 
And it's more of a spiritual thing, even though mm. she has hair loss, but it's more spiritual. I'm coming out the dressing room in uh, Burlington's and I'm like, God, no, 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 God. Mm. You know, I always feel like fire in my arms or something. Wow. And then I'm like, okay, someone's sick around here. And wow. then, so I walk past these ladies and I'm like, oh my God, you know, because if you don't deliver the word that God's telling you to, yeah, 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 you're yeah. accountable and the blessing's yeah. on your hands yeah. now. Right. The watchman on the wall. Yeah. And so I went to, I'm like, two ladies, I'm like, why are you guys sick? And they looked at each other like, no. Like, they'd be like, I'm crazy. And I'm like, no, I ain't crazy, boo, tell me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask you one more time. I have my son Caleb with me. Which one of you is sick? I need to pray for you. And the lady was like, it's me. And I'm like, are you guys a believer in Jesus Christ? I sound like the Jehovah Witness now. <laughs> I know this ain't your front door, but why I got you right here? I'm like, sound like Jehovah, are you a believer in Jesus Christ? I always ask that too. Mm. And she was like, yeah, we're believers. And so I was like, can I pray for you? I was like, there's something going on in your stomach. Wow. You know, I said, and it's not good in your stomach. So I kept seeing that like the lining of the stomach was radiating, mm. it was red. Mm. And then there was some other things going on that I can't mention. But however, I just says, a lot of times we don't have to lay hands on people. Right, right. You speak the word, the word that Come God on. tells you to speak. Right. And therefore, and his word you. comes. Yeah. All you are is a vessel. All right. he wants yeah. is somebody to be able to use. And the next thing is, you got to be trustworthy. If God cannot trust you, <laughs> he cannot give you that word. Yeah. Because if you will be someone... Now, I can tell this because my client says, okay. But if it's not okay, then you right. don't go saying those things that God allows you to see Absolutely. and call out in his name Absolutely. and his name only. Absolutely. And so right. we got to be trustworthy right. people. I, and it's funny because you're saying that because on Wednesday, that was one of the things we were talking about in terms of how to preach the gospel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of the things was around um, being prophetically led and the Lord would trust you with word of knowledge and yeah. about people and what they've been through when he knows and, and your heart is positioned in love. Right. Um, to, to love on the person and not necessarily use it to show how anointed, how anointed, you, anointed are you are and go around sharing things and just right. not even caring I, about the person. What I've come to realize is nine times out of 10, I don't even remember what the word was anyway. Mm. When God is using you and it's coming that, directly right. through that's you, true. it's not something that's in you. You're just being that vessel. Right. So right. it comes in and it goes out. But remember that word you gave me? Um, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't and, remember. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's because it's not your word. Mm. Right, right. It's, it's God's word. But wow. yeah, so yeah. It's but true. go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Which part? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't remember. <laughs> No, you, yeah. you were saying like for God, you know, God's got to trust you like yeah. to be able to. You have to and be so, trustworthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be someone who talks a lot. I love, I love that your, your, your setup. So what I'm picturing for your hair loss uh, clinic is one person at a time. Mm -hmm. And it's not like one hair. Mm -mm. When and they're on time too. And they'd be at the door Come at on. their hour. They, yeah. they be on time, yeah. So on, it's not like on. one okay. hairstylist doing 10 people's hair and you have to wait like 10 hours to no. do a one hour. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's that's why time. that's why I don't go to hair. I'm like I my time is too precious. I can't spend five hours at the hair clinic no. shop. So it's one hour and it's um, wow. It's strategically done and come all, on. And then when I'm done, I'll either braid you up or I'll blow dry you out and you're gone. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. it's your... more of a. It's kind of more of a. Um, it's it's a therapeutic appointment. It's yeah. not just for uh, fashion or anything. No, like that. it's like so getting it's a massage a kind of like, appointment. Yeah, mm -hmm. where is it at? Where's your? So right now I'm currently at one thousand Fitzgerald um, Drive, but I'm actually have a new location. I have two new locations coming up. Uh -huh. I have a new location that's coming up in Antioch, which I have partners. Yeah, nice. you think my partners. What's up? Uh, partners? <laughs> nice. And so, yeah, my friend, you have friend, we my friend. Right, and our new facility will have um, a Pilates studio. Oh, um, nice. Because you, right, need healing in yeah, that yeah, area yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I have I'm working with a young lady named Milan Fernandez. Big ups to my girl. Uh, and um, she was my hairstylist. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, she is beyond amazing. Mm. Amen. You tell me because I want to make sure that people transition from going from hair loss, and once I get your hair back. Then we transition to you getting your hair done mm. by someone who's healthy. Because another one thing ah. is that we go to these stylists and, and they, they tearing out your hair. Oh, I've been there. We'll pull the whole plug out my wow. head. Yeah. And then you, they pull your hair over and well, you to go the out. Side and you comb your own hair later on and you be like, mm -hmm. um, 
I used to. Um, <laughs> so that happened to me yeah. where they literally burned my hair out and never and said anything it. and mm-hmm. covered it up. And I didn't find out till later on. And I was just like, and I thought I had alopecia. I was right. like, wait, what? No. What's wow. What's going on with my hair? But they literally just burned my hair out and never yeah. said anything. So wait, you said your hair clinic is in Fitzgerald? Uh, yeah, for in now. Where? Mm-hmm. What it's city? So, that, in, in Antioch. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're in Antioch. Oh, Oh, and then we're moving okay. to a new location. So oh, nice. Right. I'm by myself right now, but okay. I have my team that's, we're actually teaming up and we're going nice. to have a great, great facility. I'm excited. And then I'll be in Bakersfield, California. Ooh. Okay. First of the year. Okay. By myself, but I'll expect the God to build a team as well there Amen. too. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So talk to us about the event you have coming up tomorrow. Yay. Yes. So it's going to be at 1000 Fifth Zurin um, Road in Antioch. You guys want to come out. It's going to be amazing. I have some amazing women. I have the best of the best on the panel. Mm. So I have um, Shirley Gaines, um, and she's a, a master uh, makeup artist. I wanted to have makeup and hair together because without this makeup and hair together, it's like, oh, my God. You yeah. can have your hair on fleek, but when your face is all plain, so you can have makeup your hair is a mess. <laughs> but however, I ain't so, gonna get um, offended right now. You gonna cut tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I have a good tomorrow. You good, you good, you good. <laughs> yes. So, um, and then we have a uh, Milan Fit, um, Fernandez. Okay. She's our hair specialist. And then I have um, LaKenya, LaKenya Cooper. She's a massive braider out of Hayward, um, California. Big up to Hayward. Mm. LaKenya, LaKenya is gonna be teaching us about. When you braid your hair, what to expect? I mean, what to expect from someone who's braiding your hair? I see. How to wear healthy braids. When right. people wear braids, I tell them, wash your hair. Wash your hair in the braids. Oh. We'll have less shedding when you come out. Wow. I promise you, I do it all the time. And then condition your hair. Take the conditioner. Because, see, when I made these products, you think this is a small bottle, right? Mm. It's like, I'm not going to pay money for a small bottle, right? I need a big bottle. Mm-hmm. Right. Misconception. So when you have gigantic bottles like this, they can't give you all of this. They're going to give you half of that and the rest is water. Mm. So you think, I'm getting, and that's why you use so much, you squirt that conditioner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and then you're not getting the, the whole full effect. Right. right. So I did it right. There's a cap on it. Make sure that it's not open. So my products are very highly concentrated. Mm. So when you pull this up, it's oh, wow. really, really thick. Wow. Yeah. You only need a little. A little goes a long ways. Now, with my son and myself, Caleb, like with my hair, I only use this much conditioner. Huh. Th- that's it. Mm-hmm. And so you take it and you pull it through your hair. Mm-hmm. With my son, Caleb, he has hair down to his thigh areas. Wow. Same. I only use the same amount. Mm-hmm. And then we take it and we just pull it from the rooter to the tuta. And it coats your hair. It coats all the strands of your hair. Let me show you something. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me see. You see this? Oh, you got some bad product in your hair. It's like gunky. But we gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> fix it boo. I'm gonna need that in the name of Jesus. Oh. <laughs> and so, like, it'll take the curl and make the curl better. I wish I had a spray bottle. I spray oh. It out. So your curl is even looking better. Wow. Even with the junk in it. Oh it, my gosh! It really did no, transform it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. I can see Look. it. Okay, so you see the difference that and that? And then by the end of the day, your hair is still the same. Mm-hmm. Your curls are still the same. I can't see When I wear my hair curly, <laughs> well, let me see. I'll do it. Um, no, you see, don't worry. You see it mm-hmm. in a minute. You'll we have three minute. minutes left. I'm going to dunk in a little bit, okay? Okay. And then so it turns the hair. Mm-hmm. So you only need a little. And I wear the conditioner because I like my hair thicker. Right. And so mm-hmm. if I hadn't blow dried the heck out of my hair, um, my hair would be massive. It's big. Right. Um, but however, it'll actually thicken your hair wow. when it's thin. I have people who have chemo, who's going through chemo of cancer that yeah. keep their hair during their cancer treatments. Wow. Nice. And a lot of times you lose your hair in cancer. Right. But it's not. almost a guarantee. Like they tell yeah. you to, that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Right. Or even just start cutting it off. Um, but you don't have to. So everything, the shampoo will last you two months. A long, it goes a little goes a long ways. I tell my clients wow. do not squirt all of this product in your hair. You'll wash your hair ten times. You'll have to rinse all that out yeah. because it's heavy, heavy. I give you more product and less water. Mm, a lot of times you. they give you more water and less, less product. product. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And I, had to go. I apologize. That's fine. But however, um, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> we so <laughs> professional. <laughs> This is the <laughs> truth. Truth that <laughs> film. Good morning, Erica. Hey. Does anybody have a question? Well, yeah. Do you have any Hi, G. Uh, yeah, this is my hair. Hi, G. Yeah. Um, Hi, G. You can have a on there. 
as well? No. Okay. We got a Any fire question? emoji. Amen. Thank you. For well, the fire. tell them where they can get it from. So you can get it from. Oh my God, I forgot the names of my stores. <laughs> Go to www.perryandcoherproducts.com and get your products. Or I have a store here in Antioch. Mm. Oh my God. Look online. <laughs> yes, yeah, so at the bottom you see Perry right. and Co hair products. Oh, I have the consultants that sell the product too because God say give some of the money to the women. Mm. Amen. So like when you sell the product, like mention it to somebody, be like become a consultant. Like I have like wine and wash parties. Nice. Yeah. Just because, some, yeah, yeah. Right. Just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I can't drink non-alcoholic wine. Right. I love to have fun. Mm. Amen. So I, I Amen. provide non-alcoholic wine. Amen. And, and we I, have I, hair parties. I drink some alcoholic wine. <laughs> you drink an alcohol? I, well, not in <laughs> way for your delivery. I'm responsible. I'm <laughs> I, drink, I drink wine, but That's it's okay. not like in excess. You just right. said don't get drunk. I don't get don't drunk. Running around yeah. Here, running and I don't encourage other people to get drunk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm mama all about go. the wine and wash. Let's so you yeah. the drunk uncle that comes to <laughs> dinner. <laughs> so the wine, the wine you're gonna get from the wine and wash is non-alcoholic. It's okay, really good. You that, get it from those Beth are good Mo. too. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's totally good. So we have a great time. Wine and popcorn and laugh with girls and Amen. washing hair and watching hair. Not only just with um, um, girls, with guys. I have guys to come to wine and wash too. Amen. And we're watching hair transform. Literally in one wash, I guaranteed healthy hair in one wash. If not, I will give you your money back. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, and that's what you get. And a lot of my clients or the people that come in for the wine and washes, they leave with healthy hair in one wash. Amen. Wow. So they can find out about your event at the same um, yeah. Perry and Co hair products dot com. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, or Tina Perry uh, or Perry and Co on Facebook. Okay. So Praise look God. that up, you guys. It's 3 p.m. tomorrow. You're going to have an amazing it's time. 3 p.m. Yeah. You can win a session with me if you want to. And okay. this this uh, session tomorrow is called uh, Black Girl Roundtable, Roundtable Hill, uh, Real Talk. And you were talking about how. That's me. Yeah. And you were talking about how you, the <laughs> Lord, you felt led. You got feedback from a lot of like African American women um, that were talking about how um, they needed like a space where where they could be vulnerable and comfortable with their hair issues. Yeah. Because you used to have some of these farms, you have some of these farms that are just multiracial, that yeah, are just right. Mm-hmm. And and what you noticed was that black women wouldn't necessarily be as forthcoming with their hair issues, just because you know. It, it, well, I have a consultant, and she's uh, like twenty three years old, mm-hmm. and she said her friends wanted to come, but they didn't want to come with all the other races, and mm-hmm. they wanted to talk about issues that were going on with their black hair. Got it. And they didn't want to expose it. Like sometimes you want to take your wig off, right? You know, <laughs> at home, yeah. take it right. off, yeah. and you don't want to be exposed right but to other races they felt like you know that they didn't want to talk about it because they already they didn't feel like they don't have hair issues which mm. they do too mm-hmm. but however they wanted to take it, their wigs off and talk about what was underneath come on and i'm i'm really really excited that these young people wanted mm. this form yeah, yeah so yeah. since they wanted it i literally it was like two weeks later let's develop it and get it going right. wow. because there's a need not only for those young people but for other women as well yeah it's like what do i do when i take my i wasn't the only person that says i'm tired of wearing wigs yeah yeah i literally was like i'm tired of wearing wigs now it's nothing wrong with a good wig you can wig yourself on out but when you go home you got to take that thing off yeah and look at right. it. I always say who are you yeah. when you take that wig off or when you have that weave in for umpteen months and when you take it out, you're like, oh, my God, I got to go back yeah, and get my right. other back like immediately because right. I've lost my own identity. Yeah. Right. So you don't want to lose your own identity to hair weaves and wigs and stuff like that. Even be comfortable with the short hair. Oh, I got guy feedback and a bunch of good stuff. A lot of men gave me a lot of great feedback mm. about weaves mm-hmm. and how they uh, how they feel like women look with hair weaves and wigs. Most of them said they don't care if that hair is short. Mm, Most right. of them said they don't care if it's broke off. They want to just see that woman. Right. Who she and really another is. great thing was that they said was uh, several men said, we want to see the real woman because there's so many transgenders. Mm. They can't tell who is who now. Mm. Hello, women. And all the extra makeup, he says, like uh, several mm. of them said, Tone your makeup down. Yeah. Because we have cakes and cakes and cakes of layers. Right. He said, but, uh, uh, you know, we love all, we love everybody. Right. But people are confused now. Mm. And this, these several men said, hey, it's hard to distinguish between the woman 
and the one who's pretending to be the woman mm. who's having an identity crisis. Yeah, right. And yeah, we yeah. want to heal that in Jesus' right. name. Amen. Right. But Amen. men are having a, a, a crisis yeah. with who's the woman. Right. You got all this Remy when it just should be you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? And all this extra makeup when they just want to see you. you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Don't nobody want to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Liz. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to pray out. Yes. Um, we are way over our time, but that's because you're Sorry. just amazing. No, it's fine. We want to hear more. Yes. Um, and these are mine in Jesus' See? name. See how uh, selfish we, that we is? More. Oh, yeah, there's God. More. We go pray for her okay. deliverance. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you pray, pray us out. Okay, Father God. Yes. We just come to you right now. We just thank you, God, because thank you Jesus. are always working yeah. in every area of our life. That's why you are the great I am. Yes, no matter God. what it is we need, God, you are using your people to create it and bring it to us. Yes. God, we just thank you for that. Mm. Most of all, we thank you for the ability to tap into who you are. And that comes as accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, yes, simply confessing with our mouth and believing in our heart that this God thing is real. Yes, God. So we just thank you in advance and we look forward to everything that's mm. taking place god we thank you for the jezreel studio that's coming on next for your word to continue to pour into your people yeah. we just thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you yes, we Lord. pray blessings over perry and co hair products yeah. we know that it's going yes. to be amazing because it's anointed by you god yes, miraculous god. things are happening in the kingdom of god yeah. with god's kingdom people in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. 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 thank you yes amen. thank you for being with us and for those of you on the facebook live video we're gonna have the flyer uh for uh tina perry's uh hair event tomorrow on screen if yes. you know any young ladies or Please older ladies on. um that's that's uh okay. up there at the top that's gonna be interested yeah, that's and wow. <laughs> that's gonna benefit from this definitely show up and be there tomorrow it's happening in Antioch but yes. we love you guys and have thank a fantastic you. and a wonderful fantastic day fantastic day <laughs> thank you thank you ladies Yay. oh my gosh I appreciate you guys <laughs> oh my gosh this was I'm so sorry for being late I was like it, oh my god it happened thank yeah. you you were coming all the way from oh my god Jerusalem. I was doing like 90 to 100 I'm like lord and it was so foggy. So, oh my God, this yeah, is amazing. Yeah, so that's that's her hair too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, which one? Oh, oh the, girl, about, the middle one? No, the her right there with the big thing. Girl, you know, that is a weave. Oh, okay, I was <laughs> like, because I was like, shoot, is that her? <laughs> no, that's a whole lot you of hair, huh? Yeah. Head, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the lady with the big poop on the side, the asymmetrical, no, you know, I don't know like what it's you called. You go to hair shows and they put all the extra hair yeah, on Yeah, that's what you know I was wondering. Moves. So I thought that was a really good one because um, our hair texture. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they can hear our voice, but okay. they, they can, can see it. it says, they can hear us. <laughs> all right, you guys. We well, just wanted you. you guys to see the. Thank you for logging on, guys. Yeah. Thank you. This is my Facebook crew. Thank you Hi, so guys, much. Love you, Dana. All right, bye, you guys. Let me grab my. Can you grab my? Truth FM.